When making Nutella, the process starts with a one-ton bag of hazelnuts imported from Italy. In New Jersey, we use about uh, 1,300 tons of hazelnuts uh, per year. But before the nuts are deemed worthy of the Nutella label, they're first inspected for moisture content. Then, nuts are loaded into a roaster where heat brings out more of the nut's flavor. Next, roasted nuts move to the first mixing process, blending with other main ingredients such as milk, sugar, and of course, cocoa, to form a rough paste. We use about uh, uh, 700 uh, tons of cocoa a year and about 500 tons of uh, milk. After the first blending, the mix moves onto a refiner, which makes the Nutella nice and smooth. At this point, however, the mixture is still not creamy enough and one special process remains. The final blending of uh, Nutella is done with uh, some uh, equipment that was designed by our own engineers in, uh, in Europe. So I think this is a, a, a part of the process that uh, is kind of unique and nobody else is using. Finally, the Nutella is done and it makes its way to a holding tank where it waits to be jarred. While it may look quick and simple, one batch of Nutella takes between four and five hours to complete. And although Nutella has been produced for nearly 50 years, the folks at Ferrero take nothing for granted. Samples of each batch eventually end up here, in the quality control lab, where they undergo testing for moisture. And for good reason. Chocolate and water don't mix well together, so we always try to stay away from humidity. But if the wrong amount of moisture is detected, production is shut down and nothing leaves the factory. It's a step allowing Nutella to stay safely in the cupboard.